Now we are going to model these columns in between windows. And um, I'm not going to worry about this little top, uh, little statue extrusion thing, um, because I don't have a good enough reference of it. So I'm just we're just going to worry about the actual columns. So let's begin. We will begin with old regular cube. Move it into position. And basically scale it up and get it right into position that we need. Get the right size going. And put it in the right location. And from the reference, the top is a bit shorter of the border, the top border. So we're going to keep that true in here. Uh, I think scale it up just a bit more. Move it so it's in position with the bottom of the floor. And up to here. And let us see. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's go back to perspective. Pull this guy out a tiny bit more. And I think that's good. Uh, let's move it down a bit. So we don't see that uh, the bottom up a bit more yeah I think okay that's good now what we're gonna do is the way from the reference it looks like um, there is a outside border then it extrudes inside and there's a, a narrow slit that extruded out so um, let's let's do this here let's select our faces and we're gonna extrude this face inside this way and then scale it inside keeping it true so uh, there is a uh, identical from the top and the sides and that looks pretty good now we're gonna press G to repeat the function again and now we extrude inside not too much I think just that's a little bit too much okay and now we are going to um, the best way I think the way from the reference is uh, it's hard to tell wish I had better reference um, okay it looks like okay so yeah so we're gonna extrude the inside one more time so we're gonna press G and scale this guy in and scale it this way and press G again and we're going to extrude this guy out and I'm going to go to the side view so I can see better to where to put that polygon now yep it looks very that looks even okay that looks pretty good and now what we're going to do is we're gonna bevel all of our edges out here. So we're gonna select all of the edges, start. Nope. That looks like I can't select. Just okay. I'm gonna have to manually select them. So sometimes you can't press up or left key to select uh, the very outer edges. So you just have to do it manually. So I have these selected. I'm gonna go to bevel and point oh oh one uh, no three yeah that's good and we're gonna repeat this for all of our corners now see on this one I selected the edge and I pressed left on the key on the keypad uh, with an arrow key and it selected what we needed we're gonna apply the same thing bevel point zero zero three now your offset may may differ I don't know but if you follow the same, um, if you changed your uh, things to feet like I did, um, they should stay really consistent on the offset uh, as I have it. 
So, same thing on this guy. 0 0.003. And that's pretty good. Now what we're gonna do for this guy is select him and we're gonna duplicate him and put them all across so I'm gonna go in the front view and move them here select this one move them over and I'm gonna select it again and duplicate them go to front view and here I'm going to rotate negative 90 degrees on uh, Y switch over to the side view or the actually this one is the front view then drag it over I'm just kind of judging it by eye to where it's supposed to go if it looks even enough that's good and I don't want to press uh, shift D on this one I'm gonna press control D. What shift D does is uh, it duplicates it and if you apply any rotation or scaling uh, anytime you press shift D after that it's gonna repeat those same functions uh, so if you don't want to do that um, you know if you press shift D again and shift D again it's gonna repeat all of that stuff so if you press control D it just duplicates it without any of the rotation or translation applied to it and that looks pretty good. Let's see our perspective view. Uh, we gotta move these guys in. Let's see from the side. That looks pretty good.